Welcome to our new blog. It's been a very busy final few days. On Sunday, we showed Peter the very last shot of the movie, our last delivery shot, and the last shot of the movie. Last one. <laughs> okay. There's always a last shot. Good happen. We kind of finished the movie Sunday morning. That'll do it. And just a few hours later, a room full of journalists showed up to see it. If it was the film terms, we said that it was dripping wet but it was, it was digitally dripping wet. It was pretty funny on the day that the press started watching the movie to be walking around knowing that we're still working on it. So should we have lunch and then uh, you guys can come nice. from us, right? Nice, congratulations. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Oh. A little bit more work on the Dolby Atmos mix, and so that finished pretty much yesterday morning. Everything all right? So we're here at the Embassy Theatre. We did a complete retrofit of this historic theatre for Dolby Atmos. So there are 36 total surround speakers in here. There are 28 around the audience, and then there are eight overhead surrounds. We can now uniquely place sounds either around the audience and even above, but we can also have this really smooth 360-degree movement of sound. Oh, well, that's good. I think that solves it. That's a bit much better. Much better. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to our temporary office, set up for the organization of the Hobbit world premiere here in Wellington. It's probably about 1,500 people, I think. I'm here, and the council, <laughs> art department, all getting ready frantically to have everything in place for the big day. There's lots of good fun things about working in Middle Earth, but one of the coolest is actually getting to the few weeks before the premiere, because you get to build things like this. We're doing another golem. This is for our local airport. It will be suspended in the roof welcoming all of the guests that come along to Wellington. It's been a frantic night, but and I think we are pretty much done. As in tradition, there will be something adorned at the top of the embassy, especially for the premiere. So our idea right from the beginning was to make a large-scale version of Gandalf making his mark on the green door at Bag End, which really was the start of the journey. This element here is the background to the stage, so on the day we'll install this in such a way that it creates a forced perspective element. So looking through a camera lens, Gandalf will be the same height as me. The city's definitely got Hobbit fever and it just really adds to the whole atmosphere of the premiere and we can't wait. There was just the Hobbit everywhere. Massive banners, flags all down the streets, just fantastic place. We got to go to the, the Hobbit market, wonderful. What we've got going on here is we've set up a market in Waitangi Park. This is where all the prop makers, fabrics people who made stuff for the Hobbit, everyone's going to display what the night job actually is. We're almost on the eve of the premiere and very exciting time, of course, for everybody. <laughs> it's great catching up with all these guys, isn't it great? It's like the boys are all back together again. Bad, bad, naughty, boarding school, <laughs> beatings. Your buffets are so firm. <laughs> it's great to be back in town. Now, there, is, well, there is an energy, there's a buzz, something's happening. It was a great night last night. The only problem was the MC was just a little it was a bit rubbish. Who was it? Yeah. Who was the MC? Oh, I don't know. Some guy called <laughs> Ted Brody. We had some very special guests with us here this evening. Mr. Peter Jackson and Mr. Elijah Wood. run by the fans for the fans really and they got dressed up to the nines. Yeah, it's coming up to the airport now. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing ourselves on the side of an aeroplane. That doesn't yeah. happen every day. Uh, apparently they're giving us one of these planes each. Yeah, I've got one. It's a bit no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, Richard and Martin are getting life school ones. <laughs> but we're all also very excited to see the remaining dwarves who are coming. You know, yes. Disembarking from the plane. Yeah. We haven't seen for a long time. We were seeing Daniel Gorman, Graham, Graham and Aidan Turner. <laughs> no, it's very exciting. This morning, the branded giant plane from Air New Zealand landed at Wellington, so we had all the talent out there for that. I think they're quite excited to be back. It was quite fun this morning to see them all at the airport and together as one big group. So yeah, it's a reunion of the family. They came back and we've just been doing what's called a press junket. That's where they do interviews one-on-ones with the talent, but it's interview after interview after interview with different networks and stations. So it's a long day for them. Hola, amigos de España. Hola, lectores del mundo es. Cinemax, me al esquino.
Chen Tong Guai Le. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Hello, all precious Brazilians. <laughs> <laughs> it's just another day at the office. <laughs> okay. It is 5 p.m. on the 27th of November. We are hours away from starting the road closures on Courtney Place. And we're just uh, getting ready for a long night of installation of red carpet, barriers, big screen TVs, signage, placards, banners, flags, uh, you name it, it's all gotta go in overnight, ready for the morning. So once again, it's obviously a big red carpet down Courtney Place. We've had a few movie premieres before this. The one that brings back all the memories is in 2003, when we did The Return of the King for the Lord of the Rings trilogy. We got a Guinness World Record for the longest red carpet at a film premiere at 422 meters. So my aim is to try and break it again, so the guests will be going several times around a block, just for the hell of it, just so I can get my Guinness World Record for this movie as well. We want to see a huge turnout, which is going to be amazing. Wellingtonians, residents, people associated with the film industry and filmmakers, but also people coming in from all around the country and, in fact, all around the world. We're coming from um, Germany. We are from Melbourne, Australia. I arrived down here about 9.30. I plan on sleeping on the concrete. And we have our fellowship cloaks to keep us impervious from weather. Here we are, the day of the premiere. We were driving in here at about nine o'clock in the morning and there were so many people already on the red carpet and this is, you know, eight hours ahead of time and a lot of those people had been camping there overnight. It's pretty humbling, really, to think that, you know, on one level I just think we're making a movie, we're making a piece of entertainment, but on the other hand there is this show of support for what we're doing and uh, we're very, very grateful for that. Hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, um, I think we've been steered in the wrong direction. <laughs> well, this is the smallest press conference I've ever attended. <laughs> There's a couple of big sequences that you might want to, you know. Uh, look, I did that when Barry, Barry's goiter was flopping around. <laughs> so it's, it's perhaps that is one of the most horrifying images. But um... <laughs> hey, coming to you from the Premier Event Team office. The press conference has just finished. We're four hours away from the start of the red carpet. <laughs> and one of the things that's been awesome is that in the build-up, we've had the Lord of the Rings trilogy playing right out of our balcony. It's been great. We have brought out a few elements. There's going to be various segments of sets and props along the carpet. Every now and again along the way, the, the actors will have photo opportunities with some of the set dressing, some of the kind of typical hobbitish environments on the way to the cinema, which is another 300 metres up the road. And also we have some extras dressed up as hobbits. Lots of ears and wigs and costumes and hairy feet. Hello. No problems with the crowd. Have you had any streakers? Oh, not yet. <laughs> I'll be looking out for that. Well, it's here, it's time, I believe it's almost 4.30, Neil Finn's on the stage, VIP cars are about to arrive, so basically the red carpet's beginning, the media pits are full, the barriers are full of the crowd, I can probably from here, must see well, about 10,000 Gandalf hats on everyone's heads, we're just waiting for the big man to arrive and the rest of the talent, so it's nearly time. This is for Peter, Fran, and Philippa. Thank you. Far over the misty mountains wide. <laughs> we are standing oh. on the high. Hey, everybody. How are you? All right? What the right. We'll see once more. How long have you guys been standing here? Oh, I hope you put the sunscreen on. Oh, yeah, a, little little a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, it is a 
and saying fans left and right and everywhere you can look and it's amazing, so much support. I love it. Can I just ask where your shoes came from today? They came from the floor in the hallway, just underneath where the raincoats hang. I hope I'm still in it. <laughs> Here it comes. Who's that? Couldn't be more overjoyed for Wellington than perfect weather, amazing people, amazing folks. It's nice to be back, isn't it? Class. I have to stop signing things. Oh, you can sign it if you want. I'm going to sign you as well in a minute. That's representing! <laughs> We've done it. Couldn't have done it without you, Zane. Couldn't have done it without you, Joe. I think there's a guy running down here right now with a USB stick just sticking in a projector. Last minute changes. We're walking really slow on the carpet to try and buy him some time. Okay, should we bring up some of our actors? Yeah. I just want to thank you very, very much for coming. Honestly, it means such a lot to all of us here. The last thing I, um, I have to do is there's one member of our cast, a very distinguished member who couldn't be here tonight, but he did want to send a greeting to everybody. So uh, let me welcome Sir Ian McKellen. Hello, this is Ian McKellen in London. Uh, look, is this 3D? Is this 48 frames per second? Anyway, my love to everybody. Peter, Fran, Philippa, all the cast, and my favorite dwarf, you know who you are, and the crew. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Bye -bye. That was an amazing experience. God, my <laughs> the adrenaline is still running. Mind the state, mind the state. First time I've seen the film with an audience, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how they respond. Katie here has been my companion on the red carpet. Thank heavens I had somebody to share it with. This is the little girl that was a tiny hobbit baby in the Fellowship of the Ring. <laughs> in fact, you were listening to the story of the hobbits. Oh, there I was. Mercy of three monstrous trolls. <laughs> so look, we're going to say goodbye now and have a fantastic holiday. Wonderful Christmas, everyone, and thanks for your support throughout the making of the first Hobbit movie, The Unexpected Journey. And you know what? We'll be back with our first blog for the second Hobbit movie. There's so much work ahead of us. But we will be back in the new year, and we will share the experiences of the second movie all the way through next year. So look forward to talking to you again. Bye. Bye. <laughs>